burn more than 30,000 acres and is threatening hundreds of homes. It may be pretty close to abandoning that. Home has just exploded in front of us. More and more homes are being built today in wildland areas, which is complicating the work of firefighters. This team has been out three times this year. Every fire we've been on has been in the urban interface. Ten years ago in the southwest, you might spend a whole season fighting fire and never get in where structures were involved. As the number of communities jeopardized by fire increases dramatically, so does intense political pressure to save homes at all costs. Add to that the drumbeat of media coverage and its scorecard mentality of firefighting success and failure. You are looking at a catastrophe in the making already. Five people confirmed dead, 60 homes destroyed, thousands of people out of homes tonight, thousands of homes, thousands of people evacuated. This adds up to a distracting pressure cooker atmosphere for firefighters in the interface. Priorities can get confused and objectives become blurred. Are they supposed to extinguish the fire? To save individual homes? Or prevent the blaze from getting out of control? Their job is further complicated as fires spread across jurisdictions, bringing multiple agencies together to combat blazes. Meaning that, more often than not, structural and wildland firefighters, career and volunteers, find themselves working shoulder to shoulder. Each trained differently and using strategies that are too often at odds with one another. The result is that miscommunication and safety lapses happen far too frequently. That is why many structure protection group leaders are rethinking the way they respond to fire in the interface.